He was dubbed as the darling of investors, the savior of the Indian economy. But RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan has clearly failed to impress markets with his maiden credit policy. Hello and welcome. You're watching Rebooting India. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. Let's take a look at the big story of the day, the RBI credit policy. The RBI today sprung a surprise, hiked uh, rates, the key repo rate by 0.25%, a decision that has clearly turned the sentiment negative. So that's the big balancing act of Raghuram Rajan trying to balance inflation and growth concerns, but feels that it's important to focus on inflation, which is why that big shock coming in with an interest rate hike of 0.25%. Banks say home loan rates are likely to go up. In fact, some banks have already hiked home loan rates. So it is going to hurt you. Home loan rates will go up as banks will pass on that rate hike to consumers like you and me. So get ready to pay a fatter EMI as Raghuram Rajan has hiked that key rate. Uh, meanwhile, he has also shot, lowered the short-term rate for banks, which is the overnight borrowing rate for banks by 0.75%. And this is essentially to ease money supply. Remember when the rupee was tanking, the Reserve Bank of India had uh, pumped, had taken a few measures to tighten liquidity, measures that had actually backfired. But now he's managed to partially reverse some of the measures taken earlier to support the rupee. So that's the big picture from the credit policy, but the markets were clearly not impressed. Let's take a look at how the Sensex and the Nifty behaved today. Of course, recovering some of those losses that we saw, but the big story was that sharp knee-jerk reaction. And look at that intraday chart on your screen that tells you the real story, how badly the Sensex tanked at 11 a.m. when that announcement came in of a repo rate hike of 0.25%. And then around noon, we had Dr. Raghuram Rajan uh, holding a press conference, trying to explain the rationale behind his moves. And we saw some recovery coming in and the markets finally closing in the red, but recovering some of those losses. That was a sensex for you. The Nifty also closed 1.69% in the red. That's 103 points in the red, just a shade above that 6,000 mark. But again, that sharp drop coming in on the Nifty at 11 a.m tells you the story of that knee-jerk reaction coming in on part of the markets, giving a big thumbs down to Raghuram Rajan. Uh, the rupee there, 62.23, ending in the red, 0.74% in the red, 46 paise down is what the rupee is uh, on the day. Raghuram Rajan had his maiden policy. Let's first actually listen in to Raghuram Rajan trying to explain why the repo rate hike will not have an adverse impact on growth. I would not overestimate the effects of a 25 basis point repo cut, uh, repo rate increase. Of course, there is, uh, I mean, our, our um, intent is to signal a stance against inflation, but I wouldn't overestimate the negative effect against growth, uh, on growth. And the industry is visibly upset. In fact, we've had both chambers of commerce, FICI and CII, issuing sharp, strongly worded statements after the RBI policy, saying that clearly they were surprised and did not, they did not expect a rate hike. Let's uh, actually pull up and tell you what Nenalal Kidwai, President FICI, had to say about uh, the policy. Nenalal Kidwai, in a statement, said the increase in repo rate has come as a surprise. And in fact, a cut in the repo rate would have sent a positive signal to the industry, a much needed positive signal at this point in time saying that high interest rates are a major barrier to boosting growth uh, and even saying that entrepreneurs are holding on to their investment plans waiting for the central bank to start lowering rates so the industry there clearly visibly upset and some of the big questions that we are hoping to answer today on the show while we have our guest joining us uh, is uh, are we going to see a sharp rise in home loan rates is that something that will happen will the rate hike actually hurt growth that's the other big question that we are hoping to ask on the other hand, can a rate hike actually cool inflation? That's the other question because obviously the rates have been hiked because inflation continues to be a big worry. And is Rajan's policy anti-growth? Is Raghuram Rajan's policy anti-growth is the question. Let me now go across to my guests uh, who join us to get a sense of what this policy really means for all of us. Sajid Chino, India economist of JP Morgan joins us. Dr. Sajid Bhalla, MD Oxus Fund Management and very well-known uh, corporate expert. Uh, TV Mohandas Pai, Chairman of Manipal Global Education Services. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, Sajid, let me start by asking you about the surprise announcement. First, it was Ben Bernanke who decided to surprise world markets uh, by, by delaying the stimulus 
this uh, tapering. And now you've got Raghuram Rajan surprising us with a rate hike. What's going on with these central bankers? Uh, to be fair, uh, the Fed was a real surprise, and there are question marks about whether it was just uh, the Fed buying insurance for three more months, or are we moving into a more dovish reaction function under a new Fed chairman? I think that is a legitimate debate to have. I wasn't particularly surprised by Dr. Rajan's moves today. We have sort of believed that when the dismantling of the uh, interest rate framework happens at the short end, these emergency liquidity measures, they will be accompanied by some increases in the policy rate, uh, basically moving to a more orthodox signal uh, for two reasons. One is that um, you know the currency is still, is still under pressure. Let's not forget the rupee is today at 62 without you know four and a half billion dollars of oil demand every month. So in a way it's deceptively strong. Once the oil demand comes back the rupee will be weaker and much of the appreciation over the last three weeks has been because of uh, you know a configuration of, of good global events. You've had uh, the Fed not tapering, soft payrolls, data, no uh, attack in Syria. So we've become lucky like all other emerging markets. I think we'll have to maintain interest rates at some level, A, to defend against the rupee. But let's not forget the momentum of inflation has picked up very sharply. Uh, I know there's a lot of talk about food inflation, and I'm sure we'll debate that. Right. But if I look at core inflation, core CPI today is still above 8%. And core WPI has picked up over the last three okay. months. So Sergeant it had to be sort of a balanced approach.